Welcome to Angel Speaks. This is day two of my beauty preparations and I'm going to talk to you guys while I do my makeup. This was day two of waking up early to pray and exercise. I prayed for like 30 minutes, which I wanted to be longer than that, but I lollygagged in my bed a little bit. I took a little bit longer getting out of bed, but I completed my workout and I actually did more than I did yesterday, so praise God for that. I did like a circuit workout and um, used some weights. I was looking at a little bit of my older video that I did two years ago called the Queen Astro Beauty Preparations. And in the video, I was talking about, I'm so funny. I was so excited. The way I looked at um, Kingdom Marriage before was more so like, it's gonna bring me so much happiness, which of course, that's, that's some added bonus to it. Like it's gonna bring happiness and stuff like that. But God has just been helping me to like, more so see my purpose, like the purpose that he created me for as more important like so that i'm not idolizing marriage you know because at the end of the day it's a part of it but it's not the whole thing you know what i mean he is preparing me for purpose basically you guys and our purpose is greater than just marriage kingdom kingdom marriage is not the type of marriage of the world standards Kingdom marriage is focused on the purpose that God has created us for. And everybody literally has a specific purpose, right? When he created them, as soon as he married them, he gave them instructions of what to do. He gave them dominion over the earth, over the powers of darkness, basically. Of course, he named all the animals, but I believe that that was a, a it was like, a two double meaning like it was in regards to yes we have power over the animals but he also was meaning it to mean the demons the powers of darkness the rulers you know the dark powers you know um and the bible says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood it says we wrestle against all these powers of darkness he basically gave them that commission, that, that calling. He says, this is what you guys are to do. You're to do this together. You're to do this together. I believe that when he saw, like he gave Adam assignments to prepare for that purpose. You know, he said, do this, do that, do this, do that. And Adam was doing it. And Adam was normally walking with him in the cool of the day. He had a relationship with God and it was intimate and, um, but God saw that it wasn't good for him to not have anyone that was like him. He made the animals. He he wanted the animals to bring him companionship. But he saw that that was not enough for companionship. It wasn't going to bring him to that level of dominion. It was like, it was okay. It was good, you know. Anybody ever had a pet before? Um, they bring you a lot of comfort. I used to always have dogs growing up. Um, even as an adult, I used to have a dog. And then when I got rid of the dog, um, because I had to move and I wasn't able to keep the dog and stuff, um, I ended up getting, when I, <laughs> at some point I got two cats. And um, they really brought comfort. They would sleep with me sometimes. Well, no, not sometimes. One particular cat especially would sleep with me. Um, the dog would want to sleep with me, and if I was down, I didn't have nobody to talk to. Just them being there. Isn't that crazy? How you're comforted just by someone being there? Um, but that wasn't enough, you know? I know some people, some people believe that, um, the animals were able to talk, like, that Adam was able to talk to the animals, and they could talk to him, and they understood each other's language. Um, I don't think that that was true. I wondered about that. Nobody knows. We're going to know when we get to heaven, right? But um, I don't think that they were able to have a conversation, to be honest. And maybe they were, but something wasn't, it wasn't helping him. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for him to feel what he needed to feel, the strength that he needed, the comfort, the encouragement, the wisdom, the help. He, he couldn't get that from the animals. And um, God saw that and he's like, mm, this is not gonna work. 
and, um, and that's why he created Eve, you know, and he wanted to add the marriage. He wanted him to have some pleasure too, along with it. You know, everything that God does is so much with purpose. You guys, there's so much purpose to every darn thing God does. Everything he created. I mean, our bodies, when you look at how our body was created, isn't that amazing how we've been designed? Like literally every organ has a different part. You know, there's a part, so there's a purpose to it. So I truly even believe making love and marriage, like there's a purpose to it. Like, you know, we're not meant to just never have anything to enjoy. We're not meant to just be like all serious all the time. Like we're meant to laugh. We're meant to cry. We're meant to be happy and joyful. We're meant to feel that pleasure, that ecstasy that you can feel. You know, during that those times of love making with your spouse, you're able to, you, you, you know, um, feel there's uncomfortable. You're meant to feel uncomfortable sometimes to push you to come up higher. It's just everything has purpose. And the animals wasn't able to provide all of that that he needed to feel that strength to walk in dominion. And um, with, with worldly standards of marriage, it's more about... Um, pleasure and you work to keep giving each other pleasure help make each other happy all the time the focus is just you guys but with kingdom marriage it's whatever God is the assignment he wants you guys to do so when, when I say God's preparing me for kingdom marriage I'm not just talking about just married I'm going to cook for him and everything's just going to be about serving him Yes, that's a part of it. That is going to be a part of it. Yes, absolutely. But that's not the main thing. <laughs> that's what God's kind of like preparing me for. He's like, literally, I'm going to have you guys be coming against the powers of darkness about a particular thing. <clears throat> you know, um, how that looks, I don't know whether you have to both be doing the same exact thing or you guys could be doing kind of like different things, but still able to support each other and still be in alignment. Um, however that works, you know, but still there should be, you should still be able to work together in some way with it. Um, I don't, I don't know how that looks totally, but I do know that it's so important for us to have the, to know what God wants us to do. Like, what did God call us to do? We have to know that because if we end up marrying someone that is totally not about what God has us be about, um, it's not going to work. They're not going to want to support, be supportive of it. You know, they're going to be wanting to do something else. And the Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree, unless they're, you know, so God's like helping me to see like a kingdom marriage is focused on purpose. It's focused on you guys being able to support each other emotionally, mentally, spiritually for what God called you to do. And God's going to provide financially. I mean, it would be wonderful if he sends someone that has the money for everything, you know, a man that, that can provide financially for everything. Um, but God's going to make a way, you know, he's going to help us to see how that works. But like, we need someone that's going to be able to be emotionally, mentally, spiritually supportive. Um, and even financially supportive, like, but... It's about the purpose. That's like the main event. Everything else is like the whipped cream that goes on top of it. And then the, the romance is the cherry on top. It's like, I'm going to give you a little bonus. <laughs> this is the bonus here. But that's not like the main thing. Like the cake is the purpose. The whipped cream is the love, the support, and everything. The, the, whip, the cherry on top is love making, romance. But the cake is being united in Christ and that purpose you know in this time that i've been just like home with my son 24 7 the suffering that i have endured through it you guys it is suffering like no joke my child needs so much i need so much help like my body at the end of the day sometimes feels like literally it's falling apart like my knees feel worn, worn out my legs feel so tired um like my body literally feels so kind of mentally also mentally and physically drained like crazy from just cooking all day and 
Like, you know, I work with him. I, I'm his homeschool teacher. I teach him. I teach him. I cook three times a day, sometimes more. If they don't like what I cooked, then it's like I got to find something else. It's, so I'm on my feet so much. And then, of course, I get up early now to exercise because I'm like, I need to strengthen myself. I'm like, I know God. I was feeling God like. He's like, you have to exercise or else your body's going to fall apart. Like, you got to strength. Your muscles and joints need to be stronger to handle all this work that you're doing. You know, I, it's, it's a lot, you know, and I had to push myself to get to that place now where I'm starting to get up to exercise and stuff because, and pray because prayer is, oh my gosh, that's the number one important thing. And then exercise and everything else, the health, you know, God's helping me to, I'm changing the whole dynamic of how we're eating in the house and I know the children it's going to be a, a transition for them, but I have to do it. Um, but, so my heart is beginning to turn towards mothers of special needs children. And I see how much help we need, you know, um, how much, oh my goodness, like, like I need help. I don't have the help or support in any way, shape or form. Like literally, it's literally me all the time. And I've been fighting to get support from the school district and different things and respite care and perform care and it's just not enough like it's hard you know so I need to really really talk about this this is something that God's like we you know these women including myself we need the support we we need it you know um we need to I mean mothers are the backbones of the family we're so needed society is is as strong as the families you know the women i have met some women through these uh facebook groups for special needs uh, children and i mean no we're not okay <laughs> we're not okay you know these women are they've expressed themselves like how much they're suffering they're uh, it's so much you guys oh so my heart goes out to that and I'm really feeling that God's leading me to really focus on that. Like the special needs children, they are forgotten. The world has forgotten them. Society is deserting them. And we need to fight for them. You know, we need to fight. We need to help people to see why we need to embrace them and help them and love them. This is a big issue. This is a big problem in the world, you guys.